Have you heard about the print run for the new Marvel Secret Lair? Wizards recently announced five new Marvel Secret Lair drops coming on November 4th with five all new cards or brand new abilities featuring Black Panther, Iron Man, Storm, Captain America, and Wolverine. There's also a couple tokens mixed in there too. Hasbro, who owns Wizards, also just had an earnings call this week. And while the company as a whole lost money, Magic was up 5%. And in the middle of that call, Hasbro CEO Chris Cox took some time out to tell investors about the Marvel Secret Lair as well, as to say that they had printed a lot of it. So what does a lot of it mean? Now that Secret Lairs have gone back to limited print runs prior to going on sale, and away from the print-to-demand model, many of them have been selling out quite quickly. The biggest example is the recent Monty Python Secret Lair, which sold out in an hour. One of the benefits, though, of the limited print run is that Wizards can begin fulfilling orders immediately. You now receive the new cards as early as Friday after ordering them on a Monday. With the Marvel release, Wizards and Hasbro expect that it will sell out. But how long will it be available for? They're expecting some wide interest. That's why the reveal was done at New York Comic Con and not a traditional card convention like Gen Con. The demand for this product is going to reach to collectors well outside of traditional game collectors, too. And that brought me back to how much is a lot of it. Obviously, Chris Cox needs to encourage his investors after having a relatively poor year in sales again. And the idea that they're going to sell a ton of Marvel product is good news. But I don't believe that means that we're going to see stock last much longer than other recent releases. The idea of a lot of it probably just refers to all the money they're going to make from it and not the actual amount, even though there probably will be way more of this specific product than recent Secret Lairs. I wouldn't wait to see if this product remains available outside of its release window on the 4th. There are going to be tens of thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands of people, queued up to try to purchase these. And it'll be people with all kinds of intentions. You'll have people who want to play with these cards or build a new deck around them. Marvel collectors that need to have one of everything. And of course there will be speculators who want to get in on this product and try to make some money off of it. Scalpers, that's the word I think when it makes people mad. Now that these secret lair drops have returned to limited print runs, the plan of people to buy and flip immediately has returned. Most of these cards are listed for pre-sale already on TCG Player, and many people are overpaying right now just to reserve their card to guarantee it. The low price looks to be $12 for a lightning bolt, and many of the cards are $20, $30, or $40 making each 5 card drop worth closer to 100 These drops are most likely going to cost $40 for our non-foil versions, and I believe these are going to be rainbow foils and will cost $50 for that version. Wizards is also encouraging people to buy as much as possible, since the Arcane Signet emblem will be given to each increment of $199 spent. Of course we do know that the phrase a lot of it will never imply that there is enough of a limited release that people will be able to buy singles cheap. The return to limited print runs has solidified Secret Lair as an opportunity to buy and resell the cards for profit. And that's a turnoff for a ton of collectors. It's hard to support your favorite product when the rarest pieces go to the people who have the most time and money to dedicate to sniping a pre-sale page. I don't expect that Wizards will go back to a print-to-demand option for Secret Lairs. The hype around their collaborations will only increase as we see more Marvel releases and the upcoming Final Fantasy release will also be popular. I do think they'll print many more of these compared to other Secret Lair releases, but that won't seem like it when we see the final timer on how long they took to sell out, since so many more people will be trying to buy them. So what do you think? Is this just the cash grab from Wizards and normal players will never get the opportunity to use these powerful Marvel cards? Are you walking away from the table as someone sits down with Wolverine? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care.